I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, dedication of the Wayne County Landfill Gas to Energy Project. My name is Jeff Broomhead, I'm the President of Methane Power Inc. And uh, Methane Power Inc. is a uh, landfill gas to energy developer and uh, based in the Carolinas. And this is our latest uh, project and we're very proud of it. So thank you very much for coming today. Um, now, I won't take uh, much of your time. Uh, we don't want this to be long on formalities, but there are a few people and a few organisations that we need to recognise and say thank you to. Uh, projects like this are partnerships, uh, and there are many, many people and organisations who have contributed to the success of this project. The, the most foremost amongst them, however, must be uh, Wayne County themselves and Progress Energy, and I'd like to take a little bit of time just to say uh, some thank yous to, uh, to, to those organisations. Um, as I said, these projects are uh, partnerships, and at a very fundamental level, uh, when we as a developer come in, we have to deal on a day-to-day -day basis and interact daily and weekly with, our, with, the, with the folks from, from Wayne County. And they have been absolutely superb throughout the whole project. They've been flexible, they've been amenable, they've been helpful, they've been supportive, they've come up with ideas, they've been professional, they've been absolutely fantastic to deal with and uh, this project would not have been possible without them. So we'd like to say a big thank you to the folk from Wayne County. If Tim and Randy could uh, just uh, stand up and, well, they are standing up, but <laughs> if the Wayne County team could stand up and just look around. It's been a pleasure working with you today, and I hope it will continue to be. Thank you very much. Uh, similarly, uh, Progress Energy, also the other uh, key critical component of this, and. You know, let's, let's be realistic, they're a massive organisation, they produce gigawatts of power, uh, these sorts of projects are only in the small megawatts, but yet they take the time and effort to be supportive, uh, and they've been superb throughout the whole process, both in the negotiations and, in the, in, uh, and at the uh, uh, interconnection, they've been absolutely fantastic and a joy to, do, to deal with. So Jay, to you and your team for Progress Energy, if you could just say thank you very much to you, if you'd like to just stand up, we'd like to give you... And then there are the poor people who, who sweated uh, through, well, some horrible weather and nasty conditions actually to build the facility. Uh, and uh, I'd like to say thank you to some of those people. Foremost amongst them are friends from uh, Chandler Construction. Uh, I can see some of them here. Uh, and thank you very much. You've done a superb job. And uh, I know some of the conditions you worked with. I was here myself sort of, through some of them last winter in particular. Very difficult conditions a lot of dedication and did a very fine job. So, Joe, uh, um, Bob and your team, if you could stand up, we'd like to say thank you very much to you. <laughs> there are other people as well who contributed in a very significant way, and, and not least amongst them are Crowd of Construction, who've been with us on all of our projects and do a fantastic job. So if we could say thank you to those gentlemen and ladies as well, if they could just stand up and... <laughs> Uh, and Unison as well, they've been uh, fantastic as well. Uh, a few problems with the skid, which are brilliant at helping us sort out. So thank you very much to them. If they're around here somewhere, they could get a little. <laughs> and Phil, to uh, to your team at Nixon and Geneva, they've been brilliant and uh, a, a pleasure to do with. So thank you very much. Finally, I'm not going to be allowed to leave this uh, podium without saying some thank yous to a few of my colleagues, because of course I have to live with them 24-7. So <laughs> it is beholden upon me uh, to say thank you very much to my colleagues, uh, to Leo, to Ryan and his team for doing a fantastic job. Um, I know they are, they're paid to do a job, but actually they have a professionalism and dedication which is rare. So thank you very much indeed. So you'll be glad to know it's just about it from me. And if I've missed anybody up, any thank yous, uh, uh, I do apologise. Uh, but uh, that's enough from me. I'm just going to hand over now to Lee Smith, the Wayne County Manager, who's going to say a few words. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. I was talking to uh, Lloyd Cook uh, just a moment ago, and Lloyd said it was in the 80s that we actually began talking about methane gas and the possibilities. We say uh, nothing happens fast, but good things come.
to those who wait and work really hard. So as Jeff said, this is absolutely a wonderful public-private partnership. And I do want to recognize just very quickly, um, first of all, my commissioners, if you're not standing up, you would stand up so I can recognize board of commissioners that are here this morning. We've got most of the board. Obviously, without their help and their backing to, with Tim and his team and with my office, these things would not happen. And of course, I don't think, did Mr. Parker make it this morning? I think we've got him in court this morning. But without the county attorney, we would do nothing. So anyway, we appreciate Borden's work. I also want to recognize, I know I've had two of our legislators, Representative Sager and uh, Senator Payton here this morning. I want to recognize both of them. got some town representatives. I know the uh, city manager of the city of Goldsboro, Scott Stevens is here. Do you have any other town representatives here this morning? Okay. We appreciate everybody coming. Of course, as Jeff said, the uh, this is a, a wonderful public-private partnership. Uh, Progress Energy, uh, Joanna is with uh, uh, WCDA. She's here this morning. Um, she um, knows that they are a wonderful partner that they uh, have supported us in all of our projects. So now, Joanna, we're giving something back. We're giving them something. So anyway, it's very nice, obviously, with the, the lead plant, uh, Dan, and with the construction there, and our ability to be able to take and turn trash into something that's wonderful is a good thing. Um, Tim has told me on a number of occasions, Jeff, and you'd be glad to know over the last year during construction, complimenting the company, and I will tell you, it's not always that you have construction or a project where what you hear is everything is good. That's tough. And Tim and his team have been complimented the entire time, but also in sharing resources. When we've had difficulties, your team stepped in. And we've also learned a lot, and I think that your team's learned something from our staff. We've got a staff, they understand, they know this landfill, and they know how to do it well. And obviously bringing in trash and even find it laying it the right way makes more gas. So we're going to keep doing that. So anyway. Um, I say to everyone that the landfill is my favorite department in Wayne County government. So the rest of you, sorry. <laughs> the one thing that it does, it pays its way 100% in Wayne County by the fees and the things that it does in Wayne County. Uh, they've kept now in Wayne County, we've got the lowest solid waste fee, the lowest tipping fee in eastern North Carolina, which is a great thing for our industries, Joanna, mm -hmm. uh, that we keep the cost down. And that's important. But now doing this and being able to reap the benefit of this project bringing money back, but also in being able to reap the benefit of capturing the gas, which is, as Lloyd and Tim know, a requirement of the state, the federal government, to be able to do that instead of just burning it off. Because we, I remember when we put up the blue flame, everybody said, why don't you use it? We said, give us another year or two. <clears throat> so we're doing that. Uh, the landfill, I guess now, we are, in fact, we are just uh, in the beginnings of a new sale, a 20-acre sale. That's an approximately a $4 million project. Folks don't understand the expense that you go through to throw away trash and to recycle. It's a big investment by taxpayers and by users and industry and the commissioners at the landfill. It has been going on for a number of years. Um, 3.7 million tons have been disposed in MSW and CND waste since the history and the construction of this landfill itself. 100,000 tons are disposed of a year. Um, obviously, with and they always ask you know you watch your recycling, what you bring in because the quality of the trash that you bring in determines the quality of that that comes out for you guys to produce energy, and we're very aware of that. But <clears throat> the landfill, I guess, opened the unlined unit in 1974. In 1998, <clears throat> we ceased the disposing of unit number one, which became now the C&D, or the first hill right behind the offices as you came in. Uh, 19, uh, 20, let's see, January 26th of 98, unit three of the line unit opened. December 2001, we started construction of the gas collection and control system, uh, which uh, is, is now the part of and obviously has been expanded by um, methane. July 22nd, 02, the option agreement was signed by uh, methane power, and uh, which that was a great day coming, a lot of uh, conversation going on for years. Uh, May 12, 2009, uh, you know, we finished that. Summer of 2010, began the construction, obviously, of the generator site. Uh, now December 10, we actually shut down the flare uh, that started uh, methane power's flare. And now December 11, 2010, started the engines, began producing electricity for the grid. And uh, anyway, we are excited about uh, the opportunity. We're excited about doing, first of all, the right thing. Uh, that we're, we're keeping a green environment. I know one of my commissioners, Mr. Anderson, 
talks about, in fact, he just said to me, we can get the solar out at Waynesboro Park and the solar out at the airport. We'll have it from one gamut to the other as far as producing electricity, and we'd be glad for Progress Energy to buy it, Dan. So we might have more coming. So anyway, thanks to Methane Power and their efforts, and we look forward to this project and other projects in Wayne County. But um, for Joanna and for the Board of Commissioners and all of us and our team, this is economic development. This is a partnership, and that's what it's about, and we appreciate your efforts. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for those uh, kind words. Uh, and I think Bob McCall, uh, Vice President Eastern Region from Progress Energy, is going to say a few words. Thank you very much. Jeff, thank you. And thank you, Methane Power. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, you know, I am happy to be here. I uh, started my career with Progress Energy here. I used to be the plant manager at the uh, Lee plant. So I'm always happy to come to Wayne County. And uh, progress, you know, shares equal excitement with these types of projects. And I tell you, you know, when you said well, you're just a little bit, you know, once we get these girls running over a year, that's 25,000 megawatts. That's enough, ladies and gentlemen, for 1,800 homes. So you're a major contributor. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Progress Energy uh, today, we're at an energy crossroads. While our per capita of electricity has stabilized over the last couple of years, overall electricity and the demand in the Carolinas is continuing to grow. But at the same time, all of us are facing the rising cost and the need to address global climate change. Progress Energy is committed to providing clean, reliable, and affordable electricity now and in the future. So as I shared with Michael, we're looking for that long-term relationship with methane power. Um, we're also focusing on a balanced solution. I think you've seen that in the newspaper over these last couple, three years. We're preaching this balanced solution. What that looks like is energy efficiency programs, alternative and renewable energy, and that's why we're here today, and state-of-the-art power plants. Uh, this landfill, this uh, gas-to-energy project, is part of the solution and part of our company's growing portfolio of innovative renewable energy projects. This facility plays an important role in meeting our customers' energy demands with uh, low cost and effective, reliable energy for the future. Um, it will also serve as an important long-term power renewable electricity for our Progress Energy customers. We are committed to continuing to scour the state for renewable energy resources and partnering with our communities, such as Wayne County today. Uh, to address the challenging and growing energy demands of global climate change. We look forward to that continuing partnership with Methane Power, uh, Wayne County, and reaping the benefits of clean, reliable energy. Jeff, thank you very much for having us. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Paul. Uh, uh, now, a few words from Michael Keeley, the chair of uh, Methane Power. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, I, I'd just really like to say one thing today. Uh, there's been a number of people who have been thanked and they have my, my heartfelt thanks as well. A lot of people have put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this project and as Jeff said, we're very proud of this project. I'm very proud of this project. I'm very proud of the partnerships we have and I'm very proud of our people. But I'd like to focus today on one thing which is just to give a sense of our thanks and our gratitude to the community here and to North Carolina. We feel, although we come from London, we feel very much at home here and we are working on that relationship very, very hard and I really just wanted to say one thing which is thank you so much. We really appreciate the way in which you've welcomed us here <coughs> and uh, we are working on feeling at home. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you'll be pleased to know, I think that just about wraps up the formalities. I'm just going to run through a, a few little bits of logistics. Um, there's transport that's going to be provided to get you back to the main uh, county facilities just a little while away. It's only a short walk as well.